Hi, this is David Quammen talking to you from uh, Bozeman, Montana, from my, uh, my little office in my little house four blocks south of Main Street where I am social distancing from the rest of the world except from uh, my wife Betsy, our two dogs, our cat, and our rescue python, Boots, who's in the office here with me. And I wanted to say just a few words about the fact that we all did not get to gather in Jaipur for Wild 11, as we hope to this month. Uh, and instead, we are all social distancing because of this coronavirus pandemic. We're social distancing, but I hope we're not emotional distancing or, or, or distancing intellectually. That's why I think that's why Vance has uh, suggested that uh, some of us make these videos to, to reconnect despite the, uh, the need to be physically separate. So as separate as we are, we're still all united intellectually, emotionally, and, um, and passionately for the cause that we're all concerned about, which is a better relationship between humans and the rest of the natural world. And there is no better example for the broken relationship between us and the natural world, the imbalanced relationship between us and the natural world, the unhealthy, in a literal as well as a metaphorical sense, relationship between humans and the natural world. No better example of it than this pandemic of the disease COVID-19 caused by a new coronavirus. Where does a new coronavirus come from? Uh, a new virus to the human species comes from nature, it comes from a non-human host, usually an animal host, uh, most often a mammal host, and frequently a bat host. Uh, and that seems to be what's happened here. So a virus that has been living uh, quietly, inconspicuously in bats, probably in horseshoe bats in China and elsewhere, uh, for who knows how many hundreds or thousands of years, if not millions of years, that virus is now the cause of a human pandemic. Why? Because it spilled over from the bat into humans, possibly by way of another animal, an intermediate animal. And probably this occurred in uh, a wet market in Wuhan, China. Uh, does that mean that we should uh, demonize bats? No, of course not. We need bats. Bats are precious parts of our ecosystems. Uh, does that mean we should demonize Chinese people? No, certainly not. Should we even demonize though those who eat wild animals? Well, we can't demonize them. I live in Montana and people eat wild animals here too. They eat deer and elk. Is that good or bad? Well, it's dangerous behavior because wild animals, like every other kind of species, carry their own unique viruses. And those viruses spill over into humans and cause outbreaks, sometimes epidemics, sometimes pandemics like this one. Why do viruses in other creatures spill over into humans? Because we disturb the natural world. We come into contact with, uh, with wild animals in the diverse ecosystems that we're still privileged to have on this planet. We go in, we cut timber. Uh, we burn, slash, we establish logging camps, we establish mining camps, um, we capture animals or we kill them for food. Sometimes we capture them live and ship them away to distant markets, for instance, the market in Ch Wuhan, China. And as we do that, as we disturb the natural world more and more uh, severely, more and more aggressively over time, we bring ourselves more and more into contact with uh, the viruses that other creatures carry. And we offer those viruses the opportunity to seize on a new host uh, and evolve so that they can replicate, uh, pass from individual to individual, and thrive in a new host. And when the new host is humans, those viruses have won the sweepstakes. Those viruses have seized the golden ticket because there are so many of us and we are so interconnected. There are 7.7 .7 billion of us now, as we all know. We're flying every which way. We have consumer demands that are more and more reducing the supply of, of wildness, of wildness, of biological diversity on this planet. 
if um, and that's not just Chinese people who, who buy pangolins or bats or civets in the markets of Hubei province. Province. That's all of us. We all bear some responsibility. There's enough to go around. If you have a cell phone, like the one that I'm recording this video on, if you have a laptop, then you are consumers of, uh, of a mineral called coltan, coltan, which is used to produce tantalum capacitors, which are necessary for every smartphone and every laptop that we purchase. Where does that coltan come from? Well, one of the primary places it comes from is the southeastern corner of the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where it's mined in an area not far from very diverse rainforest, very diverse forest, tropical forest, where uh, eastern lowland gorillas and, and who knows how many kinds of bats, other, uh, other animals of all sorts, plant diversity, fungus, funguses of all kinds, and in each of them, unique viruses. So, by, uh, by purchasing a cell phone, by purchasing a com computer, you put a draw on that resource, coltan, and therefore you share responsibility that brings those viruses closer um, to us because those, mi those miners in the southeastern corner of, of, uh, of the Democratic Republic of Congo, they have to eat and they are probably eating bushmeat. Um, exposing themselves and by their connectedness exposing the human planet, exposing those of us who make the demand to those viruses. So I'm talk, I've talked long enough. Uh, I'm thinking of everybody that belongs to this movement that, uh, that we're concerned about. We all know that what we need is, uh, is a better relationship and a, and a more balanced relationship um, uh, with, the, with the natural world. We need a survival revolution. Uh, to protect nature, we need a survival revolution, and we've never felt that more clearly than now when people all over the world are worried about survival against this new virus. So, so be energized, be recommitted, and be aware that things that we do, as well as things that other people do, um, contribute to, to this particular uh, manifestation of uh, a, a broken relationship between humans and the, the natural world when a single virus can sweep around the planet uh, and achieve possibly the greatest success that any virus enjoys at this moment because they are infecting a, a species that has come to dominate this planet so, um, so, so absolutely, so severely as us. We need to dial back. We need to dial back. Bless you all. Stay healthy, stay safe, uh, and, uh, and keep working for this cause.